Let's rewrite this as 2 cubed to the power of x plus 3 cubed to the power of x over 2 squared times 3 whole to the power of x plus 3 squared times 2 whole to the power of x. Now we can use the power of a power identity to rewrite the left hand side as follows. 2 to the x whole cubed plus 3 to the x whole cubed over 2 to the x squared times 3 to the x plus 3 to the x whole squared times 2 to the x. Now suppose that a equals to 2 to the x and b equals to 3 to the x. So we can rewrite the left hand side in terms of a and b. We've got a cubed plus b cubed over a squared times b plus b squared times a. Now we can use the sum of cubes identity to rewrite the numerator as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b. And the denominator, we can factorize it as ab times a plus b. So the a plus b terms, of course, cancel, and we can cross multiply to give us the equation 6a squared minus 13ab plus 6b squared equals to zero. And then we can simply factorize to get 2a minus 3b times 3a minus 2b equals to zero. Therefore, 2a equals to 3b, or 3a equals to 2b. Or in other words, 2 to the x plus 1 equals to 3 to the x plus 1, or 2 to the x minus 1 equals to 3 to the x minus 1. Now this implies that x plus 1 equals to 0, or x minus 1 equals to 0. In fact, both x equals to minus 1 and x equals to 1 satisfy the given equation.